Okay, many things in life are, well, I wouldn't say difficult, but definitely outside of your comfort zone. Take, for example, losing weight. Learning about fasting, hormones, insulin, ghrelin, and all that will take about an hour to understand. Again, I say this a lot, but Dr. Jason Fung and Dr. Paul Mason, those guys, a lot of information on YouTube, summarized very quickly, very easy to lose weight. And fasting becomes natural after about four days. After four days, the ghrelin production stops in your body, meaning you don't feel hungry anymore. And after about a first month of fasting, food stops tempting you altogether. So your psychology towards food changes altogether. Now, this isn't difficult in the sense that I ask you to run a marathon with rusted nails in your shoes. That is just torture. And another thing is, making progress and getting shit done makes people feel good. Learning Linux isn't hard either. It's discomforting, I guess. There's a big difference between something being hard and something being discomforting. Something requiring you to endure mild discomfort. Running is mild discomfort. Running with rusted nails in your shoes, that's torture and it won't benefit you at all. Swapping to Linux will be discomforting at the start because you'll need to abandon your old habits, right? Uh, just clicking things and having things magically pop up and do stuff. You basically treat your computer like a black box. Shit in, shit out. Searching up error messages isn't hard. And once you have a brief understanding of what a display server is and a teletype port, again, I made a video on this too, a lot of other people have, you'll become an arch wizard in no time. And okay, let's get down to the actual advice part of this video. When changing to Linux, Think of it as changing your habits. Floating window managers to tiling window managers. Bloated GUIs down to minimal terminal applications. Instead of swapping to Watch or whatever the fuck first, I would actually recommend you to change the programs you use to begin with. Become a minimalist, at least with technology. Learn how to use Vim for fuck's sake as well, holy shit. Here is an actual practical actionable tip as well. Don't blindly follow things you see on the internet. So what many people will do with installation videos like Arch install or whatever, they'll see someone on YouTube do something, write a command and press enter, and then they'll copy the same command from their phone, and then they'll type it on their laptop and press enter, and then the exact same thing might not happen. And when the exact same thing doesn't happen, they just give up, right? I typed the same command, why the fuck did it? No, motherfucker. Sit down and understand the fucking process, okay? Actually read the manual. Read it. And again, I know this is going to cause anxiety. But if you read the manual and you understand what you're doing, your process will be a lot smoother. And this is anywhere in life, not just installing Arch. If you understand what is happening, instead of just blindly following advice, same thing with weight loss. If you sit the fuck down and you understand how it works, then you will actually make progress as compared to just blindly following a diet or a routine or whatever the fuck you see online. And again, part of the reason people don't do this is because they have a literal anxiety towards learning or, or reading. They fear knowing things will suddenly make them a nerd and bring their virginity back. It will not for fuck's sake, okay? Because if it did, women who rode the so-called cock carousel in their 20s would be booting arch all the fucking time, okay? And the men in their 30s would actually want them. That was a fucking joke. You get the point. I'm making an, an Andrew Tate video, but whatever. You get the point. Learning and reading is not fucking... It's a good thing. Please fucking do it. It feels a little bit discomforting because your whole life you've been to school where you just blindly followed shit without really understanding it so you could perform on the exam. The chairman of the board recommends that... Those of us who are blessed with the gift of sight and uh, that we spend you know, at least half an hour of our day with our eyes closed so that we But now learning will get you out of this. And people come up with all sorts of excuses as well. They keep saying Linux is for servers and nerds and virgins only. But the truth is Linux was actually designed for personal computer use. So you guys can eat shit. Okay, and again, changing your personal habits is hard. Learning new things like reading and understanding something and then looking at your life and going, okay, I'm going to change the way I do that. That is very difficult. I understand. We really do live in the world of easy way out magic buttons like this dopamine or whatever the fuck. And it really has made people depressed. Okay, doing difficult things and getting it done, making progress, going into discomfort actually makes you a better person and it makes you feel better as well because you hedonically adapt to doing difficult things. More technology, more quote-unquote dopamine, more comforts, more TV shows, more video games are not going to make you happier. They're just going to adapt you to a higher level of stimulation, right? People adapt to losing their fucking limbs, okay? So you can definitely adapt 
to a morning routine which incorporates some fasting and some running or using the fucking terminal. And believe it or not, like I said, it feels hard at the start, but then as you keep doing it, you adapt to it. If you can adapt to comfort, you can adapt to discomfort. And usually adapting to discomfort makes you feel better anyway, because now your body actually produces chemicals that make you feel better. Like when you exercise, you produce endorphins. It's like a similar logic, okay? The sooner you start facing your problems and changing your habits and trying to become competent, the faster you will become stronger and more competent and the better you will live. Thank you for watching fucking Boot Arch. Have a nice day.